Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In our last video we created the styles.css file and we're going to be using this file to apply some formatting and positioning to our HTML content. Just so that we've got a clear idea of what we're doing I'm going to open up the main.html file and I'm looking at my file in split view so I can see the code window and I can also see the content of my page. I'm going to scroll down on this page and the element that we're going to be targeting is the H1 element and that holds our first level headings and all I'm going to do is to change this text to blue and to do that I need to set up a rule within my style sheet so I'm going to open up the styles CSS file as well and now I've got both of the files open so I've got my style CSS and I've got my HTML file as well and you can see those two files up at the top here. So I'll switch to my style sheet and what I need to do is to add a rule in here that will target that H1 element and make the text blue. Now we're going to be looking at CSS rules in a lot more detail over the next few lessons but for now I'm just going to simply paste in a rule that will achieve what we want. So it's going to target the H1 and it's going to make the colour and this is the hexadecimal code for blue. And as I say, don't worry too much about this at the moment. We'll cover it in more detail in the next few lessons. I've made a change to this file and up in the file tab here you can see the little asterisks and this signifies that there are unsaved changes in this file. When you've got more than one file open, you may well have made changes to both of the files and a quick way of making sure that you save everything is to come to the file menu and then down to save all. So I'm going to click on that one and that will save both of my files. I'm going to close down the style CSS file now and we'll go back to our main.html and we'll take a look and we can see that actually nothing's happened. This text is still black. And the reason for that is, at the moment, there's no link between my main.html document and the styles.css file. So what I have to do is to insert a link in my HTML file. I'm going to switch to full code view so that we can see this clearly. And I'm going to scroll right up to the top of the page. In our earlier lessons, we created the head section of our HTML document and we inserted the title tag. And if you'll remember, the head section holds information for the browser. And whatever we put in here doesn't actually appear on the body of the web page. I'm going to click at the end of the title tag and just press return a couple of times. So what we're doing here is we're attaching our style sheet to this HTML document. And we do that by using a link. So to insert a link, we'll open the angle brackets as we've done in the past for all our other tags and we'll type link. Now the code hints that appear when we're typing code into our document will help us quickly construct the code without actually having to type everything. So when I type a space, a list of attributes will appear. Now if you remember, when we inserted an image file, we also included this source or SRC attribute and then we had a pointer to the image file that we wanted to use. Well this isn't an image file that we're working on at the moment, it's actually a link. Now the code for a link is to insert a hypertext reference or an href and if I type in hr the code hint window diminishes and just shows the attributes that match the criteria I've typed so far. And you can see that href is highlighted there, so I can now just press enter. Once I've done that, Dreamweaver will finish off the href text, put an equal sign and two quotation marks, and my cursor will be sitting between those two quotation marks. 
you'll also notice that the browse option has also appeared and that will allow me to go and browse for the file that I want to link to this HTML document. So if I press enter the browse dialog box will open and we know that we want to link the styles.css file and that's sitting in the CSS folder. So if I open up the CSS folder from here we'll see that file waiting there for us. I'll select it and say OK and now the href link for that CSS styles sheet has been inserted. I need to tell Dreamweaver a couple of other things as well. We need to identify the relationship between this file and our CSS document and the relationship is that, that file is a style sheet. So now when I type space I'll type the attribute for relationship and if I start to type R E L you'll see that the relationship attribute is now highlighted. So again I can press enter and now I'll type the value for that relationship. In this case it's a style sheet so I'll start to type. Style sheet will become visible and selected so I can just press enter and Dreamweaver will finish that off for me. I also need to identify what type of file this is so again I'm going to press space and I'll enter type and before I finished entering all that text the code hint shows me the type attribute so again I can just press enter and the type of file that we're using here is a text slash CSS and that's already highlighted in the code hint window so I'm just going to press enter the next thing that I need to identify is what media that this style sheet relates to. And this is a style sheet for displaying things on the screen. So again, I'll press space and this time I'll type media. And before I finish typing, the code hint comes up with media. So I'll press enter. And the value that I want to give this is screen. So again, I'll start typing screen. Screen will appear and again I'll press enter. Now this time you'll notice that Dreamweaver hasn't finished the quotation marks for me so I'll need to type in a quotation mark at the end of that part and now all I have to do is to close the angle bracket to finish that line of code off. So that's the link to our style sheet complete. I'll just save that file And what normally happens is we have an extra bar along the top of the screen here to show related files. We might have to close the file down and then reopen that file so that we can see it. So there we are, we've got our source code for our main HTML document and we've also got the style sheet now. And instead of opening the styles from the file panel over here, we can now simply switch through and see the styles on our style sheet. So just by opening one document, the main HTML, we can now access the source code for that HTML document or the related file and its code for the CSS style sheet. So let's just switch back to the source code for the HTML and now let's go into split view and we'll scroll down and now you'll see that that text for the H1 has turned to blue. And this will affect all of the H1 headings within our HTML document. We've only got one there, so it's just being applied to this one. We're not actually going to have blue text in our document, so I'm going to go into the style sheet here, and I'm going to get rid of that rule that I typed in earlier. So I'll delete that one, and when I come and click into the preview window, you'll see that that text reverts back to black. I'm going to click save and save all. And as I said earlier, we're going to be looking at CSS rules in more detail over the coming lessons. If you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released, why not subscribe to my channel? And don't forget to like and share it with your friends.